turn just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. What happened? Where'd he go? What's up guys, it's Risky here, welcome back to some more Call of the Wild, I've just been out here hunting today, we're up here in Leighton Lakes again, this is probably going to be the last video on Leighton Lakes, uh, sorry if you can hear some background noise, you probably can't, but it's middle of the day right now and it's quite noisy here in my house, a lot of people are doing stuff, but yeah, I've been following these tracks, they're like in a straight line, that's funny, yeah, I'm up here, this is probably the last video we're going to be doing on Leighton Lakes, but I'm just following this decent whitetail right here, I was just following his track, he's nothing special, just 91 to 100, which... It's probably like a high level too, and then I found this, 491 to 500. So that's most likely a level five. If the weight was four, like 50 to 500, then it probably wouldn't be level five. But we're gonna follow this, see if we can find some poopy poop here, and see how fresh this is. Because I literally just seen this, and I was like, wait a minute, this might be something good right here. All right, we got some poo poo right here. Oh, that's good news. And this is just now, so he's close, man. He's close. Well, he's headed down this way, it seems. So, let me get this last track here just to make sure. Oh, no, he's heading back that way, I think. Which way is he headed? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're going to track this dude down, and maybe we'll find him. All right, guys, just updating you on the hunt for this big moose. Or, not moose. Roosevelt elk. I'm assuming this guy's level 5. 491 to 500. Weight estimate, that's most likely a level 5. I don't know if it's a diamond, but we're hunting him down because whatever I can get to put in the lodge is what I'm happy about. So I think I just got his zone here. I did not see him here. I don't know if I spooked him. I'm trying to, you know, I'm going to go grab this poopoo -poo right here. I want to find some poopy poopy so I can see how long ago he left, you know, like see, what, see how fresh it is. Uh, all of my other shit that I've been finding has just been fresh. So you can see I've been following this guy for a little while now. I got really confused through here. I started doing like figure eights for a long time and I circled this area trying to look for different tracks and I finally caught on to him and I've been following him all the way through here. All right, we got some poopy doopy right here just now. Okay, so he's nearby. We're going to give it a call here. I hope he doesn't do this crap where he's just making circles again because I hate when they do that. That gets so annoying, so confusing and you just spend so much time and by the time you finally figure it out, they're already like a mile down, you know, the hill or whatever. All right, I'm going to just keep tracking this thing and see if we can get eyes on it. I've yet to see him, so I don't know what he is. I just heard some footsteps. I was kind of just like, I stopped for a second and I checked my phone. You can probably hear him. So, sorry if I'm being quiet. I'm just trying to hear where he is. Sounds like he's in this general direction. See if I can crawl over here and get up underneath this tree. I'm assuming this is him. I don't see any other tracks in the area. And uh, I, get, I think things are about to get real, boys and girls. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know why it does that, man. Every time I alt-tab and then get back on, and then I hit shift one time, it does that. I don't know why. Probably something I need to fix. But it sounds like he's over here. Him right there. Oh, I see some. I see some antlers. See if I can hit this collar and bring him this way. I see some pretty big antlers right there. Crawl down this way a little bit more. I don't really want to give him... I don't want to be facing like this with the wind, because then he'll smell me. I don't have scent eliminate or anything like that. Even though that stuff doesn't really help too, too much, it does help a little bit. We're going to try and get up in this tree. I want to make sure I'm as covered as possible and have the best wind direction. I think he might be laying down, because his need zone is only about 80 meters away. And that's kind of like a rough estimate of where they lay down. And uh, he should be up here somewhere. I don't know. I hit that collar. I'm trying to look for his antlers moving around in the grass, you know? It's normally what you see. Antlers. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's a... That looks like a beast. I have the 7mm on me. The 7mm. don't want this guy to spook. I'm a, I think double lung works with the 7mm. So if I get that shot, we're going to take it. I don't want to go for heart. I don't feel confident with the heart. If I go for heart, it's kind of just like a lucky thing. Come on, I'm not even hidden here. 
Oh, I managed to get him spooked off a little bit. Man, he looks pretty big. He looks much bigger than the other one. I didn't go to plan. I was kind of out in the open there. I didn't realize my uh, visibility was not even okay at all. So, all right, looks like we got to go back after him here. I'm just going to stay crouched. And he didn't, like, run off, so that's good. He kind of just, like, trotted off, which is better than him running off. The, uh, the, the adrenaline's starting to kick in. I'm starting to get that little rush of, uh, that awesome rush that you get by this game. I've never had any other game give you the feeling, like, especially if you've hunted it in real life, you know, you kind of get the same feeling. You know, I've, I've shot deer and stuff like that in real life, and you get that feeling where you're just, like, you're shaking a little bit, and your blood's going, and you get really excited. You know, I don't really shake when I play this, but, um, I, I do get that rush of, like, my heart beating and things getting super intense. It's really cool. If you don't have this game, I know there's a lot of people that have been stopping in my comment section and just saying if they need to, if they should get this game and it looks awesome. Oh, is that him? Yeah, that was him. What are you doing? And now he's at the freaking, he ran the long damn way. Look at the wind now. Great. Now he's heading in the complete opposite direction that I need him to go in. I'll catch up with you once we get closer to him and hopefully have a broadside angle. I'm going to try and hit double lung. I'm pretty sure 7mm, 7mm, I don't know why I keep saying 7mm, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm pretty sure it will definitely work with the double lung. I don't know, I haven't used the 7mm in a long time. Oh shit, as soon as I ended that last clip, he actually runs right up on me here. He's probably going to spook again. Look at this wind. God damn, wind is awful. I'm not even hidden, I don't really have any cover. I guess this might work right here. Let's hit him on another call just to kind of keep him interested, you know? Try and bring him my way a little bit more. Unless he's spooked already. But I don't know. To me, this guy does look bigger than the last diamond we got. Or the last diamond elk. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. We got one like maybe two, three weeks ago. I think it was about three weeks ago. We got ourselves a diamond elk. And now here and we've come across this guy. Seems substantially larger. Oh, that's him right there. There he is. He's coming back. That's him. I don't want to lose eyes on him. Hit him with, with the damn collar. Probably hear me spamming my fucking mouse button one. I love mouse button. Look at that guy. Don't you go nowhere, buddy. Oh, that's perfect. Stay right there. No. Let's turn broadside one more time. Turn broadside. Let me get a, Let me get that range, though. I kind of want to have a more confidence. So, 45. All right. Oh, God damn you, bastard. <sighs> See? That's some bullshit. I finally got a good wind on him, and this rabbit is just chilling with me. <laughs> uh, I just had a, I just had eyes on him. He was actually down there. I literally just stopped my... Oh, he's coming. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. We out in this open-ass fucking field, but here he comes. We, got a f we finally got a good wind, too, so this might be it. Maybe if he if he decides to come all the way out here and give me a broadside angle, this might be his last day on this beautiful earth. You know, I'd like to be able to see. I'm really glad we got that good win now, because that was getting me. There he is. Come on. Oh god, he's gonna walk right on top of me. I don't want to go for that. I'm not shooting that. I am not shooting at that angle. That angle though. Stop. No, just stop one more time. I can't see with the fucking reflection. Oh my god, my eyeballs hurt. Holy shit. God damn it. Why did you have to run right up on me? You couldn't have just stopped. I keep getting in the worst positions e possible. I'm either out in the open and I have no cover, or I'm out somewhere and I have to crawl to cover, and then it just takes so long, and he stopped right there. You know, he might come back. I need to hurry up and get over here. As long as I call. We finally got a good win, so he's not going to just keep... God damn it, fucking... I was not going to take that shot. I was going to hit right scapular or something and just screw that up. If he would have came straight on me, just like straight, you know, forward at me, I would have probably taken that shot with the iron sights through his heart, but I'm not doing that at that angle. Hell no. I'm not messing this guy up. The situation keeps getting harder and harder and harder. I got... Oh. I think that might be him in there. Oh, yeah, that's him right there. Hey, buddy. I got a freaking huge-ass herd of uh, cows behind me. And then there's this guy, and then the blacktail are around me, so it's kind of hard to tell whose footsteps are, who, are whose. 
and get the seven millimeter out. He's getting real close, buddy. Come on, just right out here to this rock. Just come on out. You know you want to. It's been so long. I've been tracking you for just so long now. No, I'm not shooting to that. Come on. Come on in. Here he comes. Turn just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. What happened? Where'd he go? <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> Yo, uh... Oh! He's down here. Uh, I don't know where... It, okay. Please tell me he has quick kill on him. And that did not just be a fail. We don't have to get a consec. Let's go. 974. Taxidermize. Holy crap. Not as big as I thought he was, to be honest. But, oh my gosh. Whew. What a hunt. He's barely a diamond, too. Look at that weight. 0.15 from, I think, 490 is, like, I think 491 is actually minimum. I'm pretty sure. I don't know exactly, but I think. Actually, no, I think I'm, I'm, I'm definitely wrong on that. That's definitely wrong. I think it's, like, 480 or something, but, whew. Look, where's the tracking distance for this? 3.27 kilometers. I think that's the most I've tracked a diamond before. Man, that scared me so much there at the end when I shot him. Replay that, man. Yo, re replay that. What happened? Where'd he go? Well, let's look at that rack. Another diamond down. We're gonna go stick him in the lodge. He's definitely not as big as the other one, I don't think. I've been following this thing for way too long now. My heart is hurting. <laughs> um... So we got five diamonds now. Not bad. We're getting, we're doing pretty good. This last week has been great. 974. For some reason, my thousands don't. Uh, oh, there we go. My thousand care of, er, coyote isn't showing up in here. 974. Okay, so he is bigger than the other one. All right, cool. I don't think his rack is though. Well, there we go. Got them diamonds. I wish my thousand popped up right there. But let's head over to the lodge and freaking put this guy on the wall because that's where he belongs. All right, we're actually gonna remove this guy put this guy right here because that's just an 890 I'm not too worried about it and you know he looks he looks smaller than this guy I think yeah he definitely does look smaller I can't really tell to be honest yeah he definitely does he doesn't look as long but for some reason he scores higher I guess because he has it looks like he has more tines and he looks a little bit like he's got a little bit more mass on him but I guess I'll just stick him in here for now I'm sure I'll probably end up changing that. I did change around the this spot. I put that other one there. That little shit, huge mass, level three or whatever it was. And then this diamond right here. And then I'm going to get another wolf and I'm going to put it over there. So, and then uh, I'll probably start filling this up with like white tails and stuff. I don't know. But that's pretty cool, man. We got ourselves another diamond this week. Holy crap. That's like three diamonds in the past, This just one week of uploading, I think. That's pretty freaking crazy. I guess it's what you get from playing a game. I've said that like every freaking diamond video this week. But yeah, I've been playing like probably six hours every day now. And uh, I guess I've been paying off. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one. Later.